In this video, I want to show you how to adjust and line up the laser on your miter saw. In this video, I'm using a scrap piece of wood, a Phillips screwdriver, a small Allen key, and a very small washer. For the first step, I need to back off the blade guard to be able to access this. So to do this, slide this back. This will expose the screw. You don't need to remove this completely, just loosen it. Then I'm going to slide this off, and that allows the blade guard to slide back. Next step, I'm going to loosen the screw right here. I'm going to set this side. I'm going to do the same for this side as well. Next, I'm going to move the blade guard back down. This will expose the screw here as well on the other side. I'm going to remove both of these. Once all four screws are removed, you can remove this small housing piece. This is the laser right here. This small plastic piece is removable, so make sure you don't lose it. Next, I'm going to loosen these two screws right here on top. I'm actually going to completely remove them. Next step, holding this all together, I'm going to rotate this. You'll be able to see a small socket screw, so I'm just going to loosen this. This is just a set screw that secures the laser. With that set screw loose, you'll be able to rotate and move up and down the laser body. So the way this works is this small housing sits on this surface. The laser is projected downward onto the workpiece. I'm going to move it down so you can see. The problem is the surface that the small housing attaches to here is completely perpendicular to the blade. This means that the laser can be offset from the blade, but it'll never be directly on it just because it's pointing completely down next to the blade. So to fix this problem, I'm going to put a small washer on the right side. What this will do is raise the right side like this and allow the laser to angle into the blade. What this causes to happen is the laser will move inward and be able to be right next to the blade. Without a shim, it'll always be offset. So now what I'm going to do is put the screw and the washer on like normal. I'm going to put them through the right side hole, but underneath the right side, I'm going to put the small washer. So I'm going to put the screw first, then the washer directly underneath it. Then I'm going to screw it in. Make sure do not cross thread these. These are very small threads, so be careful. Now I'm going to put in the other screw. I'm going to tighten these down until they're just touching. I'm not going to fully torque them. So I should still be able to move these small laser housing like this. Next, I'm going to get these small plastic piece and put it back in. On mine, there is still flashing left from when this was molded. So I just scraped this off so it'll sit correctly. So it should be a perfect L right here. This will slip under a little lip under here. So I'm going to just sit this right here. All this does is sit here for now. This won't be secured until the other housing is put on over this. This needs to be installed while you're adjusting the laser just because it affects the way the laser looks. What worked for me is while everything is completely loose, take the housing and push it as far right as you can, keeping it aligned with the blade. It shouldn't be crooked this way or this way. Then tighten down the screw with the washer just so it's snug. Then see what the laser looks like on the workpiece. So right now it's relatively straight with the blade. Problem is when I move down, it's offset quite a bit. At this point, I'm gonna snug down the other screw as well. You don't wanna to go too tight just until it starts touching. As you can see, that moved the laser in quite a bit and it's still in line with the blade. If it's slightly offset at this point, you would rotate the laser housing since it's loose. So you could rotate it like this and you can move it along the workpiece to get it a little closer or change the angle of it. The way mine is set right now, I could get it fairly close and it's still in line with the blade. At this point, what I'm going to do to reduce that offset is just tighten down the left screw. What this causes is the housing will rotate inward like this as you tighten down that screw and this will move the laser body inward to the blade. So you should be able to see it as I tighten it. So I'm tightening the left screw right now to move it in. The right screw is still fairly snug down. I'm gonna tighten down the left screw and you can watch the laser move in. I'm going to tighten until it's just to the left of the blade. This is about as close as I could get it without changing the angle. So now I want to carefully tighten down the right screw if it's still a little bit loose. This will change the laser so be careful. Once you tighten this down you will need to tighten the left screw to move it back. So I'm going to tighten this just a little bit. I can see the laser moving out just a tiny bit. So I'm going to tighten the left screw the same amount to move it back in and vice versa. Continue to do this until both are snug. With both snug, you will then need to tighten on the laser body. Be very careful here, you don't want to touch the laser housing or move the body of the laser at all. So just tighten it down until you feel a tiny bit of resistance. If the laser moved while you tighten it down, you can move the housing over a tiny bit. It's still able to move, so that's exactly where I want it. Also, this is very awkward doing this, so I just have my leg hanging over to keep the saw down. Once I have it adjusted, I'm gonna raise this up and unplug the saw. I'm going to move the guard over the laser. Be careful not to disturb it. Just slide it forward like this. 
and then down. Now I'm gonna return the larger housing. Make sure the little piece right here is still straight. Now I'm gonna put the black housing on. Make sure this clear piece is secured in there. I'm gonna put the two rear screws in. And lastly, I'm gonna tighten down the screw right here to secure the plastic piece. Now I'm gonna test the laser again, so I'm gonna plug the saw back in and see what it looks like on the workpiece. Here's the laser, and I'm gonna lower the saw blade. And it's just touching the workpiece right now. So you can see the laser is actually touching the inserts slightly. You can see the shadow on the workpiece. Those are the inserts on the blade. So very, very close to the blade. You can't get any closer than this. Here's how it looks as a close up. You do lose some of the laser line, but I prefer this just because it's a much more accurate guide. You know exactly where you're going to cut. And that's that I'll adjust the laser guide on a miter saw. Thanks for watching.